in the last video you saw we, we located center. So now we know that the wheel is on center, all the pivots are on center, we want to grind a 30 thou radius. So what you're going to want to do then is you're going to want to move the wheel back 30 thousandths. Now your wheel is 30 thousandths off the pivot point and you'll get a 30 thou radius. So now all you have to do is you have to locate the tool to the wheel. Very straightforward. The wheel is set at, you set your flute, your indexing collar to four flutes because we're grinding a four flute. You snug up the tool. You never touch this feed unless you're positioning for some reason. Um, everything is done with the upper carriage feeds from, from this point on. Um, this is 30 thou off, you don't touch that. So everything happens with the upper carriages. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring this back to the edge of the flute is roughly adjacent to the wheel. Bring it in until the wheel touches. And now we've located now you've located the tool to the wheel, which is 30 thou of center. So you don't touch this one anymore. You flip the handle up and lock the upper wide travel. Now you bring the upper X carriage back and you rotate around. And because you were 30 thou off that way, you're now 30 thou off this way. So when you look at the, at the tool to the wheel, the edge of the tool should be 30 thousandths off the edge of the wheel. And so now the only thing you do is you feed with the upper carriage. So you see we have a gap here in between the tool and the wheel. You just feed with the upper x-axis. You feed it in towards the wheel. You come in close, snug it up, come around. in a little more. Remember 30,000 not much for radius so okay, I'm going to adjust this upper. We weren't quite into the wheel yet so I'll back this away a little bit okay we'll feed it in a little more Then we lift it up, go to the next flute. Set it down. Get that corner. Lift it up. The next corner. Thirty thousand pretty small radius. So. You don't have to go all the way around, you just go around to you to you blend with the grind that's on the bottom of the tool. So if you'd like to make a larger radius, let's say you want to go to a 50 thou radius, all you do is you move your move your tower away, you're now at a 50 thou radius. 
Then you bring your end mill in to the wheel and you move the upper carriage again till you find the wheel. And then back this away, back the upper carriage away. You're now set for a 50 thou. You just bring it around to this point here and feed in with the upper axis until you touch the wheel or close to it depending on how much you want to grind. And now you're set for a 50 thou range. Like we're not quite in for an MP yet, so. We're not quite in front of yet, so we're going to adjust the upper carriage and go around again. Now the wheel's at a fairly low RPM because we're not actually grinding a lot. That's the nice thing about having a variable speed. We're running at maybe 500 RPM. Now, when you're grinding a radius like this, you'll want to measure the radius. You cannot assume your settings. And the reason is that the radius because the flute, is, the flute point is tapered off down, you get a vector. So where you touch is actually the radius, but by the time you get down to the tip of the tool, quite often it's a little smaller. So if you're trying for a 1 16th radius, set your 1 16th, check it. If it needs to be a little bigger, just readjust. Just like you would if you're machining any other part.